Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. So, I want to go to the Washington Post, who had a very interesting piece. Brain-computer interfaces are coming. Consensual telepathy anyone? Hmm, that certainly does sound appetizing. You know, uh, we've seen more and more of this type of content thrown out there in the mainstream media for a while and rightfully so with the advent of AI um, and the advancements in say CRISPR-9 technology, gene editing, all of these advancements, you had to think that the computer brain interface was just around the corner. And of course it is. Uh, Tesla is also somebody that is um, uh, actively pursuing that brain computer interface. I know companies like Facebook as well. Um, This article says there's been a lot of hype coming out of Silicon Valley about technology that can meld the human brain with machines. But how will this help society and which companies are leading the charge? Elon Musk, chief executive of Tesla and SpaceX, made waves in March when he announced his latest venture, Neuralink, which would design uh, what are called brain-computer interfaces. Initially, these BCIs would be used for medical research. But the ultimate goal would be to prevent humans from becoming obsolete by enabling people to merge with artificial intelligence. And there's a lot of people out there that have advocated for the melding of mind, uh, humans and machines, AI. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is human beings will be quickly made obsolete by the advancement in technology. And that's what they say. And um, they also say that utilizing artificial intelligence and having this man-machine, you know, becoming cyborgs, I guess you could say, it greatly enhances our lives because it gives us capabilities that we may not have had before. You know, for example... If you want to learn a language, uh, just download it. You know, the problem is, and I've said this before, what happens when something else gets thrown in with the download? You know, how hackable is your brain? You know, when you do this, do you become part of a network? You know, and are you accessible from other places? Can people intrude into your brain and perhaps... Read your thoughts. I mean, these are all things that we have to think about when we start looking at this. So Elon Musk is one. Um, He's got something that he's working on called neural lace and neural dust. But basically, it's a, a dust, a nanoparticulate that you inhale. I know, sounds eerily crazy, you know, like chemtrails, neuro, nanoparticulate, yada, yada, yada. Hmm, something that could be very easy to disperse. But that's just my conspiracy side of things. But anyway, with this dust, you inhale it, and it forms a neural lace around your head, your brain, making a, again, this AI brain symbiosis that he says would greatly increase our processing capabilities. My thing is, is it comes with it. And nothing comes without side effects, without a negative side of things, you know? And this is the thing that when you try to provide accountability, you know, you want to get the good news and the bad news. And we try to get the bad news because we know what some of the benefits, of course, could be. Problem is, the road to hell, my friends, is paved with good intentions. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.